the National Shakespeare Competition has not escaped the notice of the mayor of the city of New York, and he has sent a proclamation to be read today. Oh. We're going to call please upon Lori Hickey, Deputy British Consul General in New York, to read the mayor's proclamation. So, whereas all the world's a stage, but New York stands out as an international hub of literature and theatre, exposure to the arts helps young people tap into their potential, and that is why my administration is making an unprecedented investment in arts education programs for young New Yorkers. By hosting its renowned National Shakespeare Competition, and providing cultural and educational programs for students and teachers in the five boroughs and across the country, the English-speaking Union of the United States is a vital ally in this mission. Whereas, the English language wouldn't be as vivid <coughs> and versatile as it is today without the tremendous influence of William Shakespeare, whose poetic, dramatic, witty, and imaginative works are timeless explorations of the human experience. Today, the English Speaking Union will present its 34th annual National Shakespeare Competition for high school students at the Lincoln Center Theatre. Through this competition and its programs that promote the study of Shakespeare and encourage students to analyze, memorize, and recite his iambic pentameter, the English Speaking Union inspires youth to discover the beauty and brilliance of the bard while helping them to develop confidence, <coughs> perseverance, and communication skills <coughs> that will help them achieve greatness <coughs> on the stage, in school, and well beyond. Whereas, <coughs> the 60 high school students competing today have so much talent that it's hard to believe they are still just in their salad days. <laughs> <laughs> Representing English-speaking union branches from across the nation, these finalists will demonstrate that action is eloquence by performing captivating monologues and sonnets from the Bard's prolific canon. As a diverse audience gathers to watch these aspiring Thestians strut and fret on stage, I applaud the English Speaking Union and all those associated with the National Shakespeare Competition for their efforts to nurture the next generation of artists, enrich our city's cultural landscape, and unite people of all backgrounds through the eternal power of William Shakespeare's poetic words. Friends, New Yorkers, countrymen, <laughs> lend me your ears. <coughs> now therefore I, Bill de Blasio, Mayor of the City of New York, do hereby proclaim Monday, May the 1st, 2017, in the City of New York as William Shakespeare Day. <laughs> 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 